Hi, ho, what's crack a lackin' old cranky gamer here at the nursing home? I think Nurse Ratchet put some Viagra in my rice pudding, and so I may be a little bit more jumpy than usual here. Oh boy. Anyway, so what I'm going to talk about here, of course, the 50 gigabyte uh, the VidMe storage limit, which I think is the worst business model practice I've ever seen in my life. I don't understand it. It's sort of like having all the. It's, it's like having playing poker and having um, a, a royal flush in your hand. The person has a pair of twos on the other side, and you fold. That's it. It, it doesn't make any sense. And let me give you my story, okay? Let me give you my story about how I got here on VidMe and the struggles I've had to do to get here on VidMe. Okay, uh, it took me seven years to uh, save for my PC. Okay, so some wisdom I'll impart on you guys uh, just right off the bat. Uh, don't use credit. Okay, um, that's a lot of thing that people don't get told. This is the stuff you don't get told in school. You get told that boys are defective girls and that uh, every minority is oppressed nowadays and that you can, you know, sex is freedom uh, instead of responsibility. Uh, you get told that, but you don't get told, hey, here's how to balance your bank account and here's uh, some. Uh, nice sound financial advice. You're welcome. Well, uh, here's your sound financial advice. If you use credit, you're going to get immediate gratification, but you're going to pay for it five times over, right? So that's you got it, and then you're just like it never ends. I'm still paying for that thing that made me feel good three years ago. Uh, wait twice as long to get that satisfaction, or get that satisfaction and then have to pay five times. There's my wisdom for you. OK, maybe for VidMe, because when it comes to investing, you put money up front, you take a little risk. This was a slight risk uh, of upgrading your storage there, VidMe, uh, but it pays back 10 to 100 fold. That's what investing is. And you drop the ball there. You fold it with a royal flush. Now, seven years took me to build my PC. Um, I wanted to play games. I wanted to play old games. I wanted to see if people like to play old games. I like new games like Crusaders Kings 2 and uh, I wanted to try the new Fallout 4 because I've seen videos on that and it looks spectacular. And a lot of these other newer games that are coming out, the open world, uh, PUBG, I, I really, I kind of like them, you know. Um, I'm not so much into first person shooters, but uh, I like the open world aspect, like the survival type of stuff. And I got on YouTube, and uh, it was unfortunately right after election, and the left uh, lost their bleeping minds. And part of the left was Google. Uh, and Google is not in the habit of making money. And you're like, what? You crazy. They're a company, capitalism, in America, greedy bastards. Of course they're here for making money. Nope, they made their money. They get their money, uh, they get their profit. I'm sorry. They, uh, Well, no, 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 I'm sorry. They get their money. I'm not editing this, so I'm sorry if I, I start rambling. Uh, they get their money, but they're, they don't, they're not for profit. They're, they are in league, just like Planned Parenthood. They're in league with politicians in uh, the, uh, Congress and locally. And you have to remember, Google is globally. So Google cannot fail. Everyone could you you could go to YouTube tomorrow and there'd be uh, a thousand views on the biggest video they have for the day and they would still they'd be losing hand over fist but they would still be making money. They wouldn't be doing getting a profit but they'd be making money. They have their infrastructure in place. They're happy. Their job right now is to push a narrative that they're told to. Okay, they get their back scratched. And they scratch the backs of the people there. And they've done studies on this and analytics. They know that most people will not go past the second page of a Google search. Uh, even then, December, it was they were more uh, they were more concerned with shutting down people like uh, you know the centrist view, like uh, Sargon of Akkad and uh, Dave Cullen and Mark Dice and all those individuals that you see pop up there that say uh, here's the Here's where CNN lied or Washington Post lied or here are the Berkeley riots like Lauren Southern would show those things. She'd go right into the middle of these freaking riots to show you, oh, it's not peaceful protests. It's actually these violent individuals, these authoritarian brown shirts that are trying to squelch people uh, doing free speech. 
Um, and they were doing that before the election. Uh, that's probably why Trump won a lot, because people saw these things where Trump supporters were getting beaten. They were getting pelted with eggs. Like I, I, I can remember viv vividly in my mind about that blonde girl with a Trump hat. She had egg running down their face, and she's surrounded by people. I thought she was going to die. And people wouldn't let her into the building either to save her. It was despicable. It was just horrible. And then there was a girl that was pepper sprayed in the face by this this old freaking uh, uh, authoritarian socialist bastard just for saying something. Uh, that, and it wasn't even – she was Bitcoining. I think she was talking about Bitcoin. But her hat looked like a Make America Great Again, where she kind of was like, nah, nah, I got Make Bitcoin Great Again. So he attacked somebody that was totally innocent, wasn't their enemy, as it were. Anyway, so, I, so I, I'm so i on YouTube, and I've got the gaming channel. I'm getting three or four subscribers, which, uh, because the gaming, industry, uh, the gaming section, it didn't really affect us. They were, like I said, YouTube and Google were trying to attack those people that uh, um, made it so that the uh, the person they wanted to win in this so-called uh, voting republic, uh, <laughs> they weren't happy with it, so they had to squ squ uh, squash that free thought. Uh, so it didn't affect me, but it was they were going after them. Um, so I was getting three or four subscribers. I was I had no limit on the uploads there for YouTube. I was getting my feet wet, uh, and I got up to 100 subscribers, which was really great. Um, and then the apocalypse hit. Now I knew the apocalypse hit before all these videos came out on it because I lost two thirds of my subscribers. Just lost them. I don't know if the users were banned. Uh, I didn't. I wouldn't think so. Um, excuse me. I wouldn't think so because, uh, I mean, I'm a gaming channel. I don't think I have the Hitler Youth uh, watching my old videos. Um, of uh, Thimbleweed Park and uh, uh, This is the Police or anything of that. I, I don't think that would be my demographic. Especially at that time when I was starting off, I was more trying to talk during the game about what I was doing rather than throwing little biting remarks about SJWs and Millennials at the time. So it was totally apolitical. Totally bipartisan. Didn't talk about anything except the aspects of the game. Uh, some of the odd things in the game. Some of the backstories of the game. Uh, that's all I was talking about. So I, I lost two-thirds of my subscribers. All of a sudden, my subscriber count one per week. That's very, very odd. So at that time, I looked at VidMe. And here's where we get to the point of VidMe. So I had whatever. I lost two-thirds of my subscriber. I came into VidMe. I saw that uh, you're going to be unverified. And the case for verification is 50 followers. And I went, well, boy, my YouTube channel last month would have... Uh, it would have given me a, a little better light in it uh, than it, it did now. And so I'm promoting. I'm trying to cross-promote. I'm promoting on a lot of social media. So uh, so I Twitter and uh, Reddit, those are the main places I, I try to promote my channel. Now, uh, getting on VidMe, and I, I looked at it, and I said, okay, well, that's appropriate. You guys are a smaller channel. You can't let everybody in and then just start putting a bunch of spam videos up. So I said, I will do my part. I will grind. Okay. So while I was grinding, I also saw that people who were also exodusing, uh, who were also making an exodus from YouTube, were getting verified right away. And I don't know if that was a computer model or people in a room. I don't really know. I, d I don't know. Uh, I understood it because it seemed like that seemed like a good decision. But the problem is, is that a lot of these mid-tier YouTube people were not bringing their subs with them. Uh, they were, were bringing, uh, they were bringing uh, their videos over, so they were taking up a lot of space on the server, but they weren't doing the subs. Other people were. Dave Cullen, uh, Suit Yourself Bearing, or oh, now Bearing, Bearing, uh, but they're bringing subs over. Uh, these other people were not, and I'm sure there's lifestyle or tech people that are doing likewise. Now, so I grind and I start grinding and uh, I know it says 50, but it's like uh, strongly suggested for 50 VidMe viewers. So I got up about 30. Well, then I started getting rejected. So I'm like 30, okay, 35. And the thing, how I got subs, I tried to do the right way because I know sub for sub is frowned upon. 
So what I did was I just go on a video on the trending page or a gaming channel and I try to say something witty or clever or something that could, you know, get, get upvotes, uh, not in a mean way, uh, just by being me. Uh, it worked. And VidMe is a great community, by the way, for doing that. Uh, you know, I, you guys talk to me on my channel. Uh, you guys upvote my videos. I appreciate it very much. Uh, when I said something witty, you guys go, you guys would upvote my comment and then you would follow me, which doesn't happen in YouTube. But then again, YouTube, I think, is more people watching my playlist on a TV. And when you're watching on a TV or a mobile device, you don't sit there and go give it a thumbs up. And I'm not one to sit there and go, hey, if you like this video, like a subscribe. I, I should be doing that, to tell you the truth. Anyway, so, um, but it, it annoys me when people do it. So I, eh, I kind of don't like it. And I'm not in here for the numbers game and for the, the, the money making game. You know, I do this because it relaxes me playing games. But stuff like this, I can't let slide with the VidMe 50 gig storage. So uh, I grind and I uh, 35 get rejected, 40 get rejected. Uh, so then I beg and then I do the sub for sub. And I think I one of the channels that where they were talking about verification and talking about sub for subs, I just basically said, well, how else do you expect us to get on here? I go, people are coming over from YouTube because of the adpocalypse. They're getting verified right away because they have 50,000 followers on YouTube, but yet they don't bring any over here so what are we supposed to do uh the uh, uh, small people that want to actually just get enough to get verified so we can actually start posting right begging is the only way we could do it so you guys obliged and i hope hopefully i obliged a number of you guys by following you when you followed me and again i did not drop anybody but a lot of people did drop me so f to you guys um go sit on a bike with no seat just once. I don't want you to rip your colon out, but I just want you to have a very difficult sensation. Anyway, so um, so I get that, and then I finally get verified, and I go, great. Now I can just do what I want to do, my three videos a week. That's all I'm going to do. Uh, during the time when I was not verified, by the way, I want to I let you know. One, I had to lower the quality of my videos. So dur with handbrake, and then with the video editing itself, I had to lower the bandwidth to something I wasn't happy with. I had to make sure, because of VidMe's uh, criteria of 30 minutes, I had to make sure that I was putting um, 28 minutes. So I would have to kind of script what I was going to do during the episode, too. That's what I had to do for VidMe. I didn't have to do that for YouTube. I had to do it for VidMe. So to make sure that you know you ended off on a cliffhanger so people want to watch the next episode. That's what gaming's about, right? How is he going to handle this situation? Boy, he's screwed up everything. Let's see how he screws up next episode. Those are the things that you have to do for a gaming channel to kind of make it entertaining. Um, so uh, what I did there is I had to script it so I would end it around 27, 28 minutes, right? I did that for VidMe. Then I had to lower the compression. I had to compress it more, and I had to lower the quality of the video itself, even though I have a, a, a PC that could show this thing that would look beautiful uh, if I could show it how I really want to show it. But I can't do it on VidMe. So I said, okay, that's just something I have to do before I get verified. Well, so I finally get verified, and as you can see from my latest videos, the quality went up on them. But now we get this 50 gig storage limit. And this is coming off the back of one, the Google manifesto that just came out that drove that are drive that's driving a lot of people away from YouTube. And second of all was last month where they basically did that horrible content creator bullshit, uh, you know, with the with the the white supremacy and everyone's alt right and alt white supremacy unless you just sit there and uh, you either are ignorant and don't say what we don't want you to say uh, or you echo our thoughts like uh, I don't know that uh, Nastat guy the one that, whose videos are total trash by the way really all he is is promoting a freaking product he's just a, he should be a, he's the infomercial of YouTube Casey Casey Nastat that 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 freaking slap chop motherfucker Remember the slap chop, that guy that uh, got beat up by a hooker? That's Casey Nastat for YouTube. So he gets everything he ever wanted and more, and then he quits, 
because he's like, I'm going to CNN and everything because Hillary Clinton's going to be freaking president and I did my part. Yeah, that didn't work out for you, did it, slap chop boy, Mr. Billy, Billy uh, Baines or what that, Billy Mays. Yeah, the Billy Mays of YouTube, except Billy Mays actually, you know, uh, had personality because he was doing five pounds of coke. Uh, <laughs> Casey Neistat, just, he just seems like he's on Quaaludes all the time. All right, I digressed. Anyways, back to the subject at hand. So we have this 50 gig, uh, 50 gig storage now. So this pops up, and now I got my quality, got this. I look at my videos. I'm already over the limit. I'm a gaming channel. I'm already over the limit. So at this point, it's what goes on from here, and what the hell were you thinking, VidMe? What were you thinking? Uh, last thing where, where they're saying, oh, well, we're going to hide and shadow ban and we're demonetizing these videos that we think are supremacist in nature or just vulgar or just our hate speech, even if it doesn't go against our terms of service. Now, Google's getting rightfully sued over this. Google will be sued uh, over the employee they fired just for saying, hey, here's some thoughts I have about uh, how women and men are on average generally different from each other and therefore if we try to do this instead of this maybe it will cater to both our needs as men and women Ugh, what a horrible stain on google that is except for the idiots that are just saying yeah that guy is racist without even reading a damn fucking sentence of the damn memo he sent out anyways uh that baffles me so then they come out and, and they just basically come and go we're censoring you even if it's against the term, even if it isn't against the terms of service, so we're going to censor you. So this is their newest thing because the adpocalypse didn't work, because these individuals were getting most of their money through Patreon and PayPal, and they've already tried to hit twice uh, with Sargon out of Akkad, and then they tried to hit, uh, and then they hit and got rid of Lawrence Southern uh, on Patreon, uh, because that's what they're trying to do. If we cut off their money supply, their voice can't be heard. That is one of the most evil things that you should uh, take from this. So, it's rightfully so that another mass exodus of YouTube is coming. And as soon as that happens, VidMe comes up with this 50 gig storage because they're running out of space. Because they did not plan for it. And I think that is the worst business forecasting business model that I've ever seen in my life. So at this point, it's uh, I just one. I like to hear your stories. Just tell me your stories. If you're just starting out, or if you've been on VidMe and not YouTube for a while, that'd be great. Uh, I like to hear you guys what what's happening with you guys and what you're gonna do. Uh, personally, for me, these little rant videos uh, that are you know not edited as much. Oh, I forgot to go back to that. I forgot. I'm sorry. I forgot to go back to that. Um, yeah, I, I did all this stuff. I grinded. I did the two videos. Get verified. I had to compress. I had to change my whole gameplay format. I had to um, give lower quality on my videos. Um, all to adhere to VidMe's policy. And then when I finally got verified, I said, great. Now I can actually show the stuff that I want to show. And it was getting upvotes because people thought it looked good. They were like, oh, wow, this is a good-looking game. This is a, a, a good-looking process. Um, and he's got a, he's showing it off, uh, the way it should be seen, not grainy. Um, so they liked it. Uh, but I did all that work and all that grinding and adhering to vid me. And then you fuck me over by putting a 50 gig storage limit on me from a gaming channel standpoint. So again, I like to hear your guys stories, but for me, these rant videos, I think, uh, when I put them on YouTube, I'll put them on vid me as well. Uh, basically. But other than that, there's no more gameplay for me. I can't. I just can't. I'll keep up my Thimbleweed Park, I think. Um, maybe. I may be deleting some of the older ones. But I will be putting in my channel. Uh, I'll be making comments on my channel. Uh, and, and when people follow me, I'll be saying, hey, come see my YouTube channel uh, with all my gameplay if you like my rants. Uh, but I can't, I can't put any gameplay on here again. Sorry. I, I know there's a, there's a guy out there. Uh, hold on. Wait. I wanna, I wanna bring him up. Uh, I wanna give a shout out there to X Noble Guardian. Uh, so it's X Noble, and then under, underscore Guardian, 
who uh, showed a temporary solution to the 50 gig limit problem and advice. Uh, I appreciate him coming out and, and, and trying to hold on to people, but you got to realize I grinded and did my part to get verified on this channel, even though I saw some people got preferential treatment. Uh, I had to do twice as much work on video editing in order to make my videos compatible with Vinme. That was a lot of time that I spent on a hobby when I have real life duties to perform. You know, I have a family, I have a house, I have a very responsible laden job. Uh, and three, when I finally do get verified and I think that I can ease up on the throttle and give the same videos that I have on YouTube in the same type of format, you come up with a 50 gig storage so I can no longer do that. So I would have to do, uh, I have to do three times as much work. I have to do the same crap I was doing when I was not verified uh, on this channel in order to compress it for your needs. And then secondary, I have to make sure I delete channels off um, in order to add a new channel. I'm not doing that. You're not worth it. You're, this is the, a very toxic relationship, Vidme. You, you were hot in the beginning. You, you told me all the nice things. You said you communicate with me. Uh, you said you had a sexy format and you bring it back to what you were used to, uh, that I was used to uh, seeing from old YouTube. But you lied to me. You lied to me. You, you fucked my buddy and you stole the $100 out of my wallet. That's what you did, you bitch. So vid me. I'm not, I'm not taking it anymore. You, you're dumped. Get out. Get out. And so I'm not doing that uh, with the gameplay anymore. I'm not, I'm not working three times as long. You're not as good looking as you think you are, Vidme. So I hate to break it to you. So uh, I mean, if uh, if people could tell you, yeah, if people want to tell me well, what's a new one, uh, like Daily Motion, I don't know, Daily Motion or or Vimeo or something of that nature, a, a smaller thing that are actually pr uh, actually looking at what YouTube's imploding and making the right decisions in order to grab more people off of there, let me know. Uh, that'd be great because I already made a mistake here. Um, but yeah, so as for that, uh, uh, you know, anybody in my position, uh, especially those who are young, maybe college students, uh, maybe you're working the jobs I used to work when I was younger too, like a waiter, or uh, just, you know, daily grind jobs, monotonous type of jobs, and you come and you're trying to do this to get some money to pay off student loans or to, uh, uh, to be your own boss even better. You know, you're looking at that aspect. If I could just do this for a living, whatever I'm doing, vlogs or cooking or videos or something like that, where you could get, like, I don't know, $3,000 a month, right, which would be better than anybody else. You know, you're making 3000 bucks a month. Um, 2000 after taxes, uh, which I hope you're, you're actually saying that, uh, you know, you're putting that in and paying taxes. But anyway, so, but, uh, those types of things where you're, you're making money, you're being your own boss and you're working hard. You're really working hard and the editing and the creative flow of it. Um, but you're, you know, you're, you're the person of destiny. You decide your destiny for you guys, man. I feel so much for you. I really do. It's uh, until they 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 fix this issue, which I maybe they will. But at, for the meantime, if they do, uh, sure, maybe maybe I'll be back. I'm not really sure about that. I, it, it would be very touchy touchy touch and go. Uh, but that's why I'm said I'm going to put my rant videos on here as well, uh, and I will I will comment on more videos here because it's more personable. Uh, there's not a lot of comments on each video, so if you want to talk to the person that's making the videos, it's a lot better here, which I, I, I like. It's a little bit more one-on-one, -on -one. Uh, so that's good. But anyways, uh, yeah, so that's me. I'm out, uh, and uh, yeah, let me let me know your stories. Um, and again, sorry for ranting. It's been but please comment, and uh, I, because I really like to hear your stories. Now, get off my inner lawn.